All right, crocheters, so I got all of the striping done on the zebra, and this is what it looks like. I love it. I'm very, very thrilled with how it turned out. Um, in all honesty, getting all of these stripes on did take a while. One of the things um, that I realized that helped it not take quite so long, um, especially when I was working kind of on the back and on the legs, um, was that instead of like starting starting here, coming up to the top of the spine and ending, um, I made the stripes on the back continue all the way across because the less cutting and tying off and weaving in the ends you have to do, the faster it goes. Um, and then also on the legs, I did a continuous spiral starting up here and then spiraling around the whole leg and then tying off and weaving in the ends. So <clears throat> little tip for you there if uh, this is indeed the pattern that you're going to be um, following. I'll cut that. <laughs> so just a little tip if um, this is indeed the pattern you're going to be following um, or if you're just going to be using this technique on an, another project that might also be a helpful hint um, as you're going along one question I think might be asked so I'm going to try and answer it um, here is do you have to use medium weight yarn or worsted weight or a size 4 yarn to do stripes and here's my thought I have tried because I'm like kind of playing around with this idea um, and experimenting with with it just a little bit <clears throat> I have tried using Bernat blanket velvet which is or Bernat Velvet, which is technically a size five um, for stripes as well. I thought that they were too big for the zebra, so I didn't end up using this on here. Um, but on this other project I'm kind of working with, it works pretty good. Um, <clears throat> the reason why I didn't end up... <clears throat> wow. So the reason why I am using lighter weight yarns rather than, I mean, this entire zebra is made with um, Bernat blanket yarn, which is a size six. So um, the reason why I'm not just using the same black Bernat blanket yarn for the stripes here, not only would they be too wide, um, but they are also raised. And so you would be able to kind of run your hand down the side and you would feel like raised bumps, like the stripes wouldn't look like they were a part of the animal. They would look like they had been top stitched on. You know, it wouldn't have that same feel. Whereas with the with the medium weight yarn, you can see they're they're pretty darn flush. I mean, they're just right there. There's there's no like raised bumps. They just they fit really seamlessly, really perfectly with the project. Um in my opinion, the uh Bernat velvet even though it says it's a size five, it, it kind of works up like a size four. So it's the, the thing that I love about it is that it's going to give the projects I use it on just like a more plush, gorgeous look. So I'm super excited about that. Um, <clears throat> but, but like I said, I, I and it's, <clears throat> and it will be a little bit more raised than than the stripes here with the um, with the worsted weight yarn, but I, it, it's not going to be so much so that it looks like it's not a part of the project. Like I, th I think this is going to work. So that's that's kind of my reasoning behind using medium weight yarn. So that goes to kind of beg the question: Could you use, um, you know, like a sock weight? you know, on a size three, a size two for doing different stripes on things. I think absolutely. Um, they're like the smaller it is, the thinner the stripe is going to be, but you're not going to have to worry about the bumps being, uh, the stripes being raised at all. They should fit in pretty seamlessly. Um, but if you're going to be using um, a project that is made out of Bernat blanket yarn, like most of my um, projects are, which is a size six yarn, I wouldn't go higher 
than a size five for doing top stitching. That is, that is just my recommendation. Of course, you're w welcome to do whatever you want, play around with, uh, you know, your creativity and all of these different projects and just have lots of fun. Um, but those are kind of my tips and ideas for this tutorial. So I hope you guys are able to use it and have lots of creative crochet fun.